Now you look at the back and you look at the spine. Okay, the spine normally is usually in a central position and it's straight and symmetrical and it usually it is anterior, I mean uh, midline. Uh, however, when you start to have um, deformities of the spine, it might show what we call as kyphosis, where the sterna, uh, the spine uh, or from the back is bending forwards and there is a bulge of the uh, spine and this is called kyphosis as you see it in the slide there. Uh, and that is kyphosis, which is bending of the spine anteriorly. Uh, there is another deformity of the spine, which is scoliosis, uh, scoliosis, where you see the spine is actually going to one side, either right side, uh, like deviated right or left, and this is scoliosis. It can be right or left. And there are patients that they may have both ky kyphosis and scoliosis, and we call them kyphoscoliosis. So the deformities of the spine can be kyphosis alone, scoliosis alone, or kyphoscoliosis, and can be seen as I described them and as you see in the slide. Now we come uh, to the uh, last part of chest inspection, which is chest movements, looking for chest movements, whether the chest moves normally with breathing or not. And this can be done from anterior, can be done from the posterior aspect. From the back, you uh, st uh, should be in this position, not to the side. And you ask your patient to take deep breath in and out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so as the patient breathes, you look at the chest. You look at the chest. Uh, wall and you see how the chest wall moves. Usually in normal uh, people and normal condition, the chest w wall will move in a symmetrical way and both sides, the right and left, will move at the same time, symmetrically and with the same uh, magnitude and density. Okay? However, if the patient has abnormal chest, there is something abnormal on one side, you will have diminished chest movement at that side. So if you have a pathology here, when the patient is trying to breathe, there will be diminished chest movement in this side. And then if you discover it, then you say you examine the chest movements and there is diminished chest movement in the right or diminished chest movement in the left. This is very important discovered point if you find it early because it indicates that the pathology is in the side where you have chest movement limitations. Uh, ideally, actually, you are the one to move here and there, but actually because of the camera, I asked the patient to move. But usually to keep your patient more comfortable, it is recommended that you are the one to move, not the patient. You come from the back and examine the back, and you come from the front and you examine the front, rather than you move the patient. But I had to do this because to show you uh, the better uh, like view for the uh, teaching session here. So uh, we do the same thing for chest movement from the front. You come to the front and you ask the patient to take deep breath in and out. Okay. Come on. Okay, so you see the chest moves with breathing and you look carefully for whether it is symmetrical or not. Uh, if you see it again diminished here or there, then you make your comment. So this uh, will finish the inspection, and then you start to do next, which is the uh, palpation.